channel and today I have an unboxing video for you so today I'm going to be unboxing my new computer which has just arrived today it is a HP all-in-one computer and it is the HP 22DD1002 model and um, it is it was £419 from Curry's PC World uh, I actually bought this on finance you can get not present for 24 months so it makes the payment about £17 a month um, because I couldn't afford to buy one outright so we did it that way and yeah I'm excited to get it open um, and show you what this one can do. Okay so let's get into this box. Sorry if you can hear any noise in the background, my little girl is playing with her toys so you might be able to hear that in the background. Scissors to get into the box. Okay. So I don't think I said this is the white version of this. I think you can get it in black as well. But I went for the white because my room is white. Okay. So there is a little box inside here, which is this one, and inside here you have your cables, so you've got your plug in here, you have your power adapter here, you have your mouse as well, so that's what's in that box. It does come with a keyboard as well, so that must be in another box inside. Here is the other one. So this will be your keyboard in here. And these are wired keyboard and mouse. So I actually have a wireless one, so I probably won't use these because I don't want to use up two USB ports because I've got a lot of USB devices. So I think these are probably not going to be used. So I'm going to use my wireless one. So here we go, white keyboard. Okay, now let's get the main machine out. I'm going to put this on the floor and lift it out. That'd be easier. So it's come with these styrofoam to keep it sturdily in the box. Lift it out. Here it is. You can actually see my current uh, computer here. This is a very old computer. Um, I'm not sure what the model is. I'm not actually sure if the spec is better than this one, but this um, is on. It's a Windows 7 computer. It's a touch screen. It's got the Beats audio speakers. Um, it's got a terabyte of memory. This one only has 200 and 250 megabytes. So there's a lot less memory on this one. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping this will be okay for what I want to do with it. This was probably the top of the range when I bought it, um, but I have to say I've never really used the touchscreen other than when this broke um, and the USB stopped working so I can't use my mouse. That's the only time if you really use the touchscreen, so I didn't really necessarily need a touchscreen. Um, I think this when I bought it was probably one and a half thousand pounds. It was a very, very expensive computer. Um, but yeah, it's not working properly anymore. The USB sockets keep switching off and you can't use them. That I can't use my mouse. The internet connection keeps going off all the time, and the fan on it is so loud and noisy, it's just making it unworkable. There's also an error with the screen, it's got some bars running across the top, so it's definitely time for a new one. So, anyway, I'm going to move that one out of the way in a second. So this one in, but here is the new one. Um, it does look a lot smaller than this one, uh, if you put it next to each other. Um, the one behind is a 24 inch screen, this is a 22 inch screen, so I'm going to have to get used to the smaller screen on it, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Also the other one behind was also a TV as well, so you got a remote control with it and it had, um, you could watch the TV on it, but then it, it was also a feature that I never used, I never used it, because I didn't have an aerial to plug into it, and when I did get an aerial it was really hard to get a signal. 
so it was never actually really used as a tea base that was another wasted feature that i didn't need so this one is just the basics it doesn't have a cg drive on it the other one did uh, it's really hard to find a computer these days with a cd drive um but anyway i'm gonna open it all up now and show you what it looks like So this is what it looks like. So I'm just going to move the back computer out of the way so you can see this a bit better. And this one is super heavy compared to the new one. The new one's really like this is extremely heavy. Okay, so there you go. That's that one. It also comes with a little instruction booklet here. instructions okay so here it is out of the box so i'll just show you some of the features it has so it has up here take the sticky off it has a webcam up here so it's a privacy cam so you can actually pop that down uh, lift it up and pop it down so that no one can like spy in on you uh, which is good so yeah i like that feature that you can lift it up and pop it down again so it's got that it does have just turn it around show you the back it has the power on button just here it's got your headphone in socket here an ethernet port i think that's called where you can plug your di internet directly into it instead of using the wi-fi it's got a hdmi cable outlet so you can use it as a uh as a screen an extra screen um it's got the power the power in port here where your power uh, cable goes in and then it's got four usb sockets here it's supposed to also have a card reader on it somewhere i'm not sure where the card reader is If I just put it down here like this, you can see just here at the bottom, you can see very well, I'll zoom in, this is your memory card reader where you can slot your memory cards into. Um, hopefully that'll be easy to get into. I'll just give you a close look. So there we go, just here underneath, this is your memory card reader. I'm just going to get an SD card and just see how it slots in. So I've got an SD card just here. that how it slots in yeah it seems to seems to slot in like that so it just sits out and my other one it pushed right in so but yeah this one just seems to slot in like like that that is your memory card reader there so here is your power button just here and then over here are your And over here are all your different ports and slots for the computer. Okay, so now I'm just going to set it up and plug it in so you can just see it set it starting up. Okay, so I'm just going to set the computer up now and just turn it on for you. So I'll get all the bits out of the boxes. It comes with 
little velcro bit so you can tidy it away properly. That slots into here. Plug it into the computer last, so you plug you plug into the adapter first, plug this into the mains and then plug it into the computer. So I'm just gonna plug this into a socket now. Okay, so it's now plugged into the socket. I can now plug this into the computer. And there you go, you can see the light has come on to say that it's getting power to the computer. So that's all set up. Um, I don't know whether to set it up with this now I'll set it up with my keyboard rather than this one because I'm probably not going to use this because like I said it's going to take up two, two USBs and there's only four. I have my printer that I need to plug in, I have my Cameo and I have my hard drive to plug in so I think maybe for this sort of video I will plug these in but I probably won't be using these in the end set up. Now I'm going to turn it round, switch it on and you can see it's starting up. Okay, so I've got the mouse and keyboard all set up now. It's all plugged in. So I literally just have to press the on button. This is on the other side. There we go. There we go, it should start to boot up now. and it should now boot up. Okay, there we go, we're now on. It's obviously, I am used to Windows 7, so this is quite different, so I need to get used to this. So there we go, the computer is now all set up. Just have to put like my um, devices onto it, like my printers and my silhouette machine and stuff, and then it is all done. So I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing video. 
you have, please do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you again soon. Bye.